Welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at half steps and whole steps and learn a little bit more about these very important and very common intervals. And as we've learned before, intervals are just the distances between any two notes on the guitar. And they can be played one note at a time or simultaneously. So, the first interval we're going to focus on is just a half step. And a half step is basically the distance from any one fret to the next one. So you can go from F on the first fret of the low E string to F sharp, which is the second fret of the low E string. Or you can go from an F sharp to a G, which is the second fret to the third fret of the low E string, like this. And you might notice it sounds a little like the Jaws theme. So, half steps have a certain sound, and they are used in chords and also in scales, which we'll be learning later in the book. And uh, I'll just play a few half steps around the guitar neck so you can hear how they sound. And they, there's a similar quality to, to all of them. Another thing to mention is you can go up with a half step. So for instance, as I played the F sharp to G, F sharp to G, that's a half step going up. But you can also play a half step going down, which would be towards the head of the guitar or just a lower sound, a lower pitch. So that would be from G to F sharp. So there were two directions that can go up, oops, up uh, or down in terms of the pitch. So here are a few half steps. Okay, that's a few examples to give you an idea of how they sound. Now we're going to look at a whole step. And a whole step is just composed of two half steps. So as we had before, the F to F sharp, now we'll have an F to G. We have F to G, that's a whole step. You'll have a half step and another half step, and that makes a whole step. And whole steps are very, very common intervals in music, and um, they compose scales and chords, etc. So you can also, just like with the half step, the whole step can go up or it can go down. And here are a few examples of whole steps. Well, have fun with that, and keep this in mind when you're learning scales and chords throughout this book, and for music in general. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson.